Mango working off the screen, gets it over to Dorsetti. Oh, pass goes out of bounds off the hands of Grewal. Three thirty-eight left to go here in the first quarter. Cats down by six. 12-6 our score. Again, I'm Jeremy Hurtado, live from Central Catholic High School, bringing you today's action between the Sonora Wildcats and the Central Catholic Raiders as part of the Mark Gallo Invitational. Patterson drives, stops at the free throw line, now back over Maven. Maven out to Capello for three, hits short. Rebound comes off to the Raiders. Mangana drives, no good. Rebound leads to a fast break opportunity for the Wildcats, led by Patterson. Patterson, nice pass over to Milbourne for the basket. Mangana, three point shot up, no good. The rebound comes off to the Wildcats and Maven. Maven over to Capello. Capello looking at the three point. Gives it over to Patterson. Patterson drives. Goes up and gets some friendly roll around Sonny. Cuts the lead to two for the Wildcats. Ten. Raiders 12 here early in the fir first half. 2.13 left to go in the first quarter. Sonny drives on Milbourne. Loses it. Patterson able to contain it for the Wildcats. Gets it out to Maven. Maven over to Patterson. Patterson fakes a three. That gets the screen from Milbourne. Left alone at the free throw line. He elevates. Nice jump shot there. Ties the game at 12 here with 141 left to go in the first quarter. Central Catholic works around the outside. Sonny looks to drive. Guarded by Patterson. Drive shot up, no good, and he gets his own rebound. Rebound comes off, and they call a foul on Central Catholic on Sonny. That's his first. Second team foul, and actually his second, Sonny's second. Cats have a chance to take the lead here. 123 left to go in the first quarter. Our score tied at 12. Maven brings it up, gets it over to Patterson. Patterson looks to get work off the screen off of O'Neill, but gets it over to the corner. Maven controls for the Cats. As gets the ball over O'Neill, has the ball knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay a Wildcat ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock, 101 on the game clock. Wildcats inbound from underneath the basket. Patterson set the inbound for the Cats. Gets it to Milborn. Nice move there by Milborn. Didn't finish the rebound. Comes off to Sonny for the Raiders. Nichols, three point shot up. No good. Rebound comes off to Patterson for the Wildcats. Patterson drives, kicks it out to Maven. He gets it over to Capello. Nice pass there. Three point shot. Good. Nice job by the Wildcats of ball movement. Patterson out to Maven. Fake the three-point shot over to Capello for the open shot. Open three for Capello, giving the Cats a 15-12 lead. Back on this in Central Catholic, looking to take the last shot here. 12 seconds left on the shot, or on the game clock rather. Shot clock's off. Nice screen there by Sonny, but the layup is blocked. Comes back out to. Rewall. He gets a three as time expires. 15-15 our score at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back with more live on NorCal Sports TV. At the end of the first period, we're all tied up. Central Catholic Raiders 15.
This broadcast of Sonora High Basketball is brought to you in part by California Gold, building tomorrow's value today. As we get set here to start the second quarter of play, our score 15-15, all tied up. Wildcats will inbound the ball to start the second half quarter. In the game for the Cats, O'Neill, Mabin, Milborn, Capello, and Patterson. Shot goes up by Capello, and it's good over the defender. Gives the Wildcats a 17-15 lead here. Double dribble called on Central Catholic. Go to the replay here. See Capello drive. Comes up, stops the free throw line. Gets left alone. Nice shot there giving the Cats a two-point lead. Maben hands off to Patterson. Patterson thought about the three. Now he looks to drive. Kicks it over to Capello. Maben with the ball now, looking for something. Looks like the Wildcats are looking to drive down in and then penetrate and dish. Patterson drives, shot goes up, no good. But that's gonna be the third, possibly the third foul called on, it is, third foul called on Sonny. That's a big third foul there as he's gonna probably go to the bench for the rest of the second quarter here. That's his third personal, third team foul on Central Catholic. And just as expected, J.J. Williams getting set to check in for Sonny. 7.07 left to go here in the second quarter. Awesome Patterson going to the line to shoot two for the Wildcats. First free throw up and good. Again, Williams checks in for Sonny for the Raiders. Second free throw up and good for Patterson. And that gives the Wildcats a four point lead here. Just over seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. Wildcats pick up some pressure. Central Catholic gets by it. Central drives. Nice running shot there by Nichols. Gets it up and over Milborn. And cuts the Cats lead to two. O'Neill drives. Cut off. Kicks it back out to Capello. Capello picks up his dribble. Looking for someone to give it to. Gets it over to Patterson. Patterson, three point shot. Short. Rebound, though, comes back to the Cats and Capello. New shot clock. Capello goes up. Nice jump shot there, just inside the three-point line. Magana brings it up for Central Catholic. O'Neal takes it away for the Cats, gets it to Milborn. Milborn almost travels. Milborn out to Babin for three, short. Rebound comes up and off to Dursette for Central Catholic. Three point shot, no good by the Raiders. Wildcats quickly back up court. Oh, Maven misread Patterson. Patterson was cutting Maven. Thought he was going to come out to the three-point line, and Heyman turns it over. We have a timeout on the floor here as we watch the replay of Capella's jump shot. Last trip down for the Wildcats. This broadcast of Sonora High Basketball is brought to you in part by California Gold, building tomorrow's value today. The NCS-TV Summer Basketball Camp. Be one of the first 75 to register to get $100 off your camp tuition. Go to NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp to learn more. Sonora Conference Center, four unique rooms in downtown Sonora. Visit SonoraConferenceCenter.com for more details. 
Ben Roberson CPAs, serving Tuolumne and Stanislaus Counties. Straight Sports. For custom uniforms, go to straightsports.com for more information. 21-17, our score here. Just over four minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, or second quarter, rather. Wildcats have a four-point lead over Central Catholic. Raiders will inbound the ball in their own backcourt. 5.23 left to go here in the second quarter. Magana brings it up for the Raiders. Raiders. Dorsett. Layup. Attempt no good. And he's fouled. Fouled on the play by number three, Cole Edwards, who checked into the game during the timeout for the Wildcats. His first foul of the game. Dalton Dorsetti to the line for the Raiders. Free throw up and good. Checking in for the Raiders. Rewall and Hanson come back in. Rewall for the Raiders. Hanson for the Wildcats. Hanson replaces Maven, giving him a break. Second free throw for Dressetti. He goes up and in. 21 19, 504 left to go here in the second quarter. Hanson. Gave it over to Capello. Capello thought about three. Spins around. Looks to drive now. Kicks it back out to O'Neal. Patterson around the screen. Tries to get it back to Edwards, but it's knocked out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by the Raiders. A rider by the Wildcats, and it's going to be a discussion. This decision comes to be last touch by the Raiders. 4.40 left to go here in the second quarter. Wildcats up by three. Inbound the ball. Seven on the shot clock. Let's see if they notice. Now there's three, two, one. Patterson noticed the last second. Shot goes up. Hits the back of the iron and goes out of bounds over the backboard. It'll be Central Catholic ball there. So a lack of awareness there on the shot clock. Patterson notices at the last second cost of Wildcats there on that possession. Grewal and Majana for the play back. Pass back and forth is intercepted by Patterson. Patterson lays it up and in for the Cats. Nice job there by Patterson getting the steal, going down court and getting the layup for the Wildcats. Shot goes up, no good. But he, Williams gets his own rebound and draws a foul. We go back to Patterson's steal and layup on the last uh, possession. 13, nice job there by Austin Patterson. Foul called on O'Neal. Last time down for the Cats. Williams comes to the line, shooting two for the Raiders. First free throw, front of the iron, doesn't squeak in. Almost rolls back in. Coming back into the game for the Wildcats is Maven and Milborn replacing Capello and Edwards. Second free throw attempt up and good for Williams. Cuts the Wildcat lead to three. Just under three minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Let's see if the Cats decide to try and go down low here, or they work the outside. They dri dribble penetration, gets it over to Maven. Maven finds Hanson in the corner for a three-point shot. It's good, and he's called. Yeah, draws a foul. Nice shot there by Hanson, and picked up the foul on Grewal. So a chance for a four-point play here. For the Wildcats, that's a huge swing here. Free throw up and good. Makes it a seven-point lead for the Wildcats. 
Wildcats pick up pressure. Central Catholic gets through the pressure though. Gets it up into the offensive front court. Three point shot by Manga goes wide. Rebound goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Wildcats. Central Catholic sets the inbound here down by seven. We'll see if they look to go down low too. That's what both teams have, have looked to do on a consistent basis here in the first quarter, the first half rather. There's the cutting. Manga for the Raiders. Again, he was cutting. No shot blocker in the game for the Wildcats. Patterson, rise up. He'll shoot it from anywhere that time and just inside the three-point line. It's back to a seven-point game for the Cats. Quickly, though, wow. <laughs> Durasen back down for the Raiders. Lays it up and in. Maven drives. Shot no good. Rebound comes off to Williams for the Raiders. Central Catholic working around the outside. Nice screen set there by Central Catholic, but they called for a foul. That's going to be Sonora. Maven called for the foul, trying to work through the screen. Here's a replay of Patterson. Pull-up jump shot just inside the free throw line last time down for the Cats. Maven called for a second foul here in less than five seconds. Here's a replay of Dorsetti's lay-in last time down for the Raiders. One fifty-two left to go here in the first half. Wildcats up 29-24. Raiders working on the, with the ball. Free throw or three-point shot rather up and good by Jalen Nichols for the Central Catholic. Cuts the Sonora lead to two. Hanson drives, cut off by the Raiders. Back out to Patterson. Patterson, rise up, three point shot up, no good. Rebound comes off to Dorsetti for the Raiders. He pushes, drives, lays it up, and ties the game with one minute left to go here in the first quarter. 29-29 our score here, 59.3 seconds left to go. Here's a replay here of the three point shot. The second possession time and gone by the Raiders. Nice job there, nice top of the key shot by Nichols hitting the three there for Central Catholic. Don't forget NorCal Sports TV Summer Camp coming summer of 2020. Be one of the first 75 to register and get $100 off your tuition. To be held at the former location of Dick Edwards Camp in Sonora, California at the Sierra Outdoor School. Week one is boys camp, June 16th through the 20th, 2020. Week two is girls camp, July 7th through the 11th, 2020. Five day overnight camp with air conditioned dorms and prepared meals included. Trainers and coaches from NBA, college and high school ranks will be in attendance. All games will be and events will be filmed professionally by NorCal Sports TV, airing, allowing for film sessions, video evaluation and individual highlights. Register with a small deposit of $99 to earn your discount and free personalized jersey upgrade. Learn more at NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp. 55 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Wildcats trying to retake the lead here going to the half. Patterson and Maven working ball on the outside. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Ball comes back out to Patterson. He drives the lane, lays it up and in 
over the defender, Williams. Nice job there by Patterson, being aggressive, going to the basket, making the hoop, giving the Wildcats a two-point lead here with 20 seconds and counting left to go in the first half. Raiders have a chance here to, to tie or take the lead in the half. Foul called. Actually, it's going to be traveling called on Nichols. So that's going to give the ball back to the Wildcats with 8.5 left to go here in the second quarter. Coach Longeway setting up a play here for the Wildcats. Maven runs up court. Clock doesn't start. Cats have now five seconds left. Maven, three-point shot up. No good. Rebound comes off to Milborn. Milborn shot no good at the buzzer. So our score at the half is your Wildcats 30, Central Catholic Raiders 29. Here's the replay there. Last Patterson layup over Williams that gave the Wildcats a lead of 30 to 29 at the half. We'll be back with more live on NorCal Sports TV. Ball comes back out to Patterson. He drives the lane, lays it up and in. Ball comes back out to Patterson. He drives the lane, lays it up and in. Off to Dorsetti for the Raiders. 
He pushes, drives, lays it up, and ties the game off to Dorsetti for the Raiders. He pushes, drives, lays it up, and ties the game with the ball. Free throw, or three-point shot, rather, up and good with the ball. Free throw, or three-point shot, rather, up and good just inside the three-point line. It's back to a seven-point game for the Cats. Quickly, though. Wow. <laughs> Just inside the three-point line. It's back to a seven-point game for the Cats. Quickly, though. Wow. <laughs> he was cutting. No shot blocker in the game for the Wildcats. Patterson, rise up. He was cutting. No shot blocker in the game for the Wildcats. Patterson, rise up. Basis here in the first quarter. The first half, rather. There's the cutting. Manga. Basis here in the first quarter. The first half, rather. There's the cutting. Manga. Maven. Maven. Finds Hanson in the corner for a three-point shot. It's good. And he's called. Yeah, draw. Maven. Maven. Finds Hanson in the corner for a three-point shot. It's good. And he's called. Yeah, draw. Pass back and forth. It's intercepted by Patterson. Patterson lays it up and in for the Cats. Pass back and forth. It's intercepted by Patterson. Patterson lays it up and in for the Cats. Capello goes up. Nice jump shot there just inside the three-point line. Capello goes up. Nice jump shot there just inside the three-point line. Central drives. Nice running shot there by Nichols. Central drives. Nice running shot there by Nichols. Good for Patterson. And that gives the Wildcats a four-point lead here. Just good for Patterson. And that gives the Wildcats a four-point lead here. Just Shot goes up by Capello, and it's good. Shot goes up by Capello, and it's good. His block comes back out to Greenwall. His block comes back out to Greenwall. Patterson drives, kicks it out to Maven. He gets it over Capello. Nice pass there. Three-point shot. Good. Nice job. Patterson drives, kicks it out to Maven. He gets it over Capello. Nice pass there. Three-point shot. Good. Nice.
We're back getting ready to start here the second half of play. Our score, Sonora Wildcats 31, Central Catholic Raiders 29. Our first half stats are brought to you by Benton Roberson CPA. Benton Roberson CPA provides legal, personalized tax accounting and financial gu guidance to individuals, businesses throughout Tuolumne and Stanislaus counties. Our team believes in partnering with you and your team to build lasting relationships that help you achieve your financial goals. Give us a call today and experience the Benton Roberson difference. We look forward to hearing from you. First for the Central Catholic High Raiders, the leading score for them was Nick Sonny with eight points, followed by Jalen Nichols with six, Dalton Durasetti with six, and Dayton Magana with five. For the Wildcats, Leading scorer, Austin Patterson with 18. Callahan Hansen kicked in seven. Spencer Capello also had seven for the Cats. And Gabe Milborn had three. Again, our scorer, Wildcats 31. Central Catholic Raiders 29 as we get set to start the second half. Central Catholic to inbound the ball here. Your five on the floor for the Wildcats. Maben, Capello, Hansen. Patterson and Milbourne out there for the Raiders is Sonny, Nichols, Grewal, and Majana. Nice drive there by Dura Sorte for the Raiders. Ties the game up as he now has eight points on the afternoon. Wildcats working around the outside. We'll see if they decide to shoot the three or keep driving the basketball like the second half of the of the first half there. They do drive. Shot goes no good though. Rebound by Sonny. Sonny thought about a three over Millborn. Now he's gonna put it up. And it's good. Nice shot there by the big guy for the Raiders. Patterson comes back. Answers right back with the three of his own as it rattles in. And we're tied once again, 34-34. 7.03 left to go here in the third quarter. Kick comes out to Grewal. Nice defense here shown by the Cats. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Drive, wild shot, put up no good. Rebound comes off to Patterson. Patterson over to Hanson. Cats work some clock here, 25 on the shot clock. Get the ball over Patterson. Patterson's in. Look to get it down to Milborn. It was tipped back out to Patterson, but he was standing out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on the Wildcats. Central Catholic brings the ball up slow. Now gets the screen by Sonny. Sonny working on Milborn. Drives baseline, lays it up and in. Sonny. 13 points now, leading scorer for the Raiders. Shows how much of a difference it is when he's in the game versus when he was on the bench with foul trouble in the second quarter. Rebound comes off again to the Raiders. And the Raiders have a chance to increase their two-point lead here. Back to Sonny. Sonny drives, but he's called for the offensive foul. That's his fourth. Here's the replay of the last time down court. He was able to make the baseline layup. This time, however, Wildcats got in there, took the charge, and that's his fourth personal foul, sending him back to the bench. So huge, huge turn of events there. With 5.37 left to go here in the third quarter, he goes to the bench. And we'll see if the Cats look to take advantage of it down low like they did in the second quarter. Maybe working behind the screen from Milborn. Thought he was going to drive there, but he didn't. He gave it off to Capello. Hansen drives, lays up, left-handed, good. Good, it goes around Grewal. Nice layup by... 
Hanson, the sophomore for the Wildcats, ties the game at 36. Central Catholic working around the outside. Drive by Williams. Williams lays it up and in. Both teams taking advantage of points in the paint, just like they did in the first half. Patterson, pull-up jump shot from the free throw line is short. Rebound fought for by the right. Raiders goes out of bounds off of Williams. Nice job there by Milbourne fighting for it. Here's a replay. Hansen's layup last time down court. Layup with the left hand that tied the game. Back to live action now. Edwards. The check correction, Hansen rather. Another layup for him with the left hand. That's four points here for Hansen here in the second half. Gives him 11 on the night. Steal by the Wildcats. Patterson, high off the glass, lays it up and in. And that's going to prompt Central Catholic head coach Mike Wilson to take a timeout here with. 407 left to go in the third quarter. Cats up 40 to 38. Here's a replay. Patterson running layup high off the glass. Nice job to get the angle correct, get it to go in and giving the Cats a two point lead. This broadcast of Sonora High basketball is brought to you in part by California Gold, building tomorrow's value today. The NCS TV Summer Basketball Camp. Be one of the first 75 to register. To get $100 off your camp tuition, go to NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp to learn more. Sonora Conference Center, four unique rooms in downtown Sonora. Visit SonoraConferenceCenter.com for more details. Ben Roberson, CPA, serving Tuolumne and Stanislaus Counties. And Straight Sports. Go to StraightSports.com for custom uniforms for more information. Raiders have it. Wildcats come out with a little bit of pressure. Raiders able to get the pass the timeline. Drive. Nice hesitation move by Nichols. Gets the foul and the basket. Foul goes on Spencer Capello. Here's a replay of it. Nice job of hesitation move. Getting up. Going up over the... Defender getting the foul called and the basket goes, giving him a three point opportunity. Free throw shot is up and good, and giving Central Catholic a one point lead with 3.45 left to go here in the third quarter. Cats trail 41 40. Maven drove down, kicked it out to Capello. Patterson thought about a three point shot. Now he drives, elevates over his defender, and puts it in. 19 points now. Actually, 22 points now for Patterson unofficially on the afternoon. Williams drives on O'Neal. No good. Rebound comes off to Patterson for the Cats, and they look to extend their lead here. Patterson drives. Shot up, no good, but he is hit on the head by Dalton Durasetti. Here's a replay of his shot up good last time down court by Patterson, giving the Cats a one-point lead. Now he goes to the line after being fouled this time with a chance to give the Wildcats. Looking to give the Wildcats, a to extend the Wildcat lead, rather. Referee talking to the book, make sure everything's good. At the score table. Now they're going to have a conversation. So, again, we'll talk about how these teams got here. Sonora came into the tournament. They beat Stag in the first round. And then they lost to New York Memorial yesterday in the second round. Meanwhile, Central Catholic beat Patterson 65-33 in the first round. And then lost last night to Vanden, 83-67, setting up this matchup today. Winner here goes on to play the 330 game 
for the fifth place against the loser or the winner rather of this next game coming up between Liberty Ranch and Sacramento. Patterson makes both free throws. Extends the slower lead to 43-41. Cats come out with pressure, but again, Raiders be able to get through it. Shot goes up by Manjana. No good. By Magana, rather. And Sonora has the ball again. Jonathan Maven drives down the lane. Has the ball go off his foot, though, and out of bounds. And it'll be possession back to Central Catholic. Cats come out pressure again. Central Catholic looks to get it up court. They do get it over the corner. Shot up 4 3 by Cooper. And it's good. And that gives the hometown Raiders a one point lead here 44 43. 2 15 left to go here in the second or third quarter. Patterson, three point shot up and good. Says, I can match that. Cats have a two-point lead here. 2-0-1 left to go. Cooper with the ball for the Raiders. Now they slow things down. Nice drive there and layup by Jalen Nichols for the Raiders. Back and forth we go here. 46-46 our score all tied up again. Patterson. Elevates three-point shot. He's feeling it right now, guys. Another three for Patterson. Gives the Cats a three-point lead here with 125 left in the third quarter. Nichols lays it up for Central Catholic. Right now it's Nichols and Patterson going back and forth. The last two possessions for each team. One minute left to go here in the third quarter. Patterson goes up again from three, and it's good. Duracet had a hand in his face, looks back and goes, what else can I do? As the shot goes in by Patterson, and right now he's just taking control of the offense for the Cats. Duracet, spin move, no good. Rebound comes out to Patterson. 38 on the shot clock. Patterson pull up three, and it's good again. Four straight three-pointers by Austin Patterson. Uh, amazing offensive outburst here by Patterson in the third quarter for the Wildcats as their lead's grown to seven. Now Wildcats pick up a turnover as a five-second call by Jonathan Maven. Great defense there by the Cats, and Maven turns the ball back over to the Central Catholic. And now we have a timeout on the floor as Coach Lloyd Longeway wants to set up a play with 18.8 left to go here in the third quarter. Here's a replay of the last three-point shot by Patterson. It was way out there, and he's feeling it. You can tell that's four in a row by him. Here's, here's the other angle. Well, that's almost on the logo as he pulls up and hits the three-pointer, giving the Wildcats the seven-point lead here with... Just under 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Coach Longeway drawing up a play, and we'll be back after these messages from NorCal Sports TV. And we're back live here. Austin Patterson officially, we just got word from the book, 38 points so far here in the game. He's got the ball here for the Cats. He drives, lays it up, make, almost makes it 40, but offensive foul called as he tries to stuff it home. He drove down the lane, tried to stuff it home. Foul called on Patterson. Going to be a turnover with two seconds left here to the Raiders. Raiders down by seven. Snore comes full court press. Denying inbound. 
Pass comes in off of the hands of the defender. Maben gets it for the catch. Shot up, no good. Wouldn't have counted if it, if it went. So at the end of the third quarter, our score, Sonora Wildcats 55, Central Catholic Raiders 48. We'll be back with more on live on NorCal Sports TV. Sonora Conference Center's grand opening in downtown Sonora with four unique rooms available for hourly and daily rentals, large classrooms, professional conference room, event and party hall, and even a podcast room. Learn more at www.sonoraconferencecenter.com or text 833-247-6338 for more information. As we get set to start the fourth quarter here, once again, Austin Patterson, 38 points so far. 20 of those came in the third quarter there as he hit four three-point baskets back-to-back. Helping the Wildcats take a seven-point lead. Fifty-five, forty-eight. our score. Sonora up over Central Catholic. Little little confusion here is now both head coaches and the officials are going to get together. That gives us time to talk about the loser of this game. Like we said we earlier, the winner plays at 3.30. The loser of this game will play at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon in the seventh place game. They will play the loser of the Sacramento versus Liberty Ranch game that's coming up here next at the Mark Gallo Invitational. Seems like we got everything all squared away now. So we got fourth quarter action getting set to, to start. Wildcats inbound the ball. Seven point lead. Maben over to Patterson. Let's see if Patterson stays hot here as they start the fourth quarter. Cats working the ball around, 17 on the shot clock. Maven drives, and he's fouled. And that foul is a big call. Let's see who it goes on. It's going to be on four. Julian Cooper, his first, team's third. Sonora, the inbound the ball. Nice drive there by Maven. Increasing the Sonora lead to nine here. Just under seven and a half left to go in the fourth quarter. Nice shot there by Nichols, but goes off. Rebound comes to Patterson for the Wildcats. Cats have a chance to extend the lead to double digits here on this possession. Rebound comes off to Nichols, and we got a timeout called by coach here's a replay of Maben's rebound there coming out of the set play coach Mike Wilson calls timeout for timeout Raiders, the Raiders we'll be back after these messages on NorCal Sports TV Back to live action here. Seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Nico Sani comes back in for Central Catholic here as we start the fourth quarter. We'll see if 
with four fouls there. How long it takes for Sonora to go after him on the defensive end. Rebound comes off to Patterson for the Wildcats. Wildcats look to take a little time here. Patterson over to Maven. Maven, three-point shot up and good. Corner three for Maven. Maven now has five in the fourth quarter. Helps extend the Cats' lead to 12, 60 to 48. Three-point shot by Sonny is no good short. Patterson comes up the rebound for the Wildcats. Hanson, corner three. This time good again, and the Cats starting to feel it from the outside. Nice pass there by Maven over to Hanson in the corner. Similar to the way the Cats started the game. Now three-point shot up by no good by Central Catholic. Sonny thought about the three-point shot, now drives down and lays it up. So again, Sonny's been able to do things while he's on the court. The problem for Central Catholic is keeping him on the court as he's been in foul trouble most of the game here. O'Neal drives, gives it over to Hanson. Hanson looking for Patterson who hasn't scored here in the fourth quarter. Now he drives down the lane, lays it up and in all around Sonny and that's 40 points for Austin Patterson. Nichols drives for Central Catholic, lays it up and in. No call on the foul there. Little contact, no foul. So it's now Wildcat 65, Central Catholic 52. Patterson over to Hanson from the corner. Hanson's three-point shot, good again. Six points there by Hanson. And the Cats are on fire from the three-point line here in the fourth quarter. Sonny looks to go to work for Central Catholic. Now he gives it back, almost throws it in the backcourt, but it's retrieved by Magania. Now he has the ball taken away by Patterson. Patterson lays it up and in over the rim. Nice little layup there. Thought he was going to try and dunk it. Just said, nope, I'm going to go for up. Easy layup for two. Three-point shot by Magana, no good. A rebound comes off to Milborn. And with 4.15 left to go, the Cats slow things down, up by 18. And now we have a technical foul called on Central Catholic, on Dalton Durosetti. So that's going to send Patterson back to the line. Here's the replay as Durosetti has the ball taken away from him by Patterson. And Patterson lays it up and in. Patterson to shoot the technical foul free throws. First one's good. Four ten left to go. 71. 52 our score. 19 point snore lead is the second free throw. Rims out, no good. Wildcats also get possession of the basketball. So O'Neal set to inbound for the Cats. Maven looks to drive, now gives it back to O'Neal. O'Neal thought about the three. He drives, gets back out to Patterson. Patterson elevates for another three-point shot. It rattles around and is good. Austin Patterson, another three-point shot for the Wildcats. Extending their lead here with 3.43 left to go. Now we got double dribble called on Central Catholic. So another turnover here by the Raiders. Sets the Wildcats up on offense with 3.38 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Look for the Wildcats to take some time here off the clock here before they attempt a shot. They have a big lead here. 15 on the shot clock. Maven resets the offense. Hanson drives, nice pass to O'Neal. Shot no good, but follow by Milborn. 
gives the Wildcats a 76-52 lead with three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Sonny on the drive, shot up, no good. Rebound though by Grewal. Nice pass there to Kazalt, and he lays it up and in. That was a good look there by Grewal. He got the rebound, didn't, didn't panic, found the cutting Pizalt, and he was able to lay it up and in for Central Catholic. Mabin from the shot, three point, no good. Rebound comes off to Sonny, and he, Sonny looks to push here for the Raiders. He does, drives down the lane, lays it up and in. We got a foul called, not sure on who. Both guys hit the floor. It looks like it's going to be on the Wildcats on Capello. So that's going to be two points for the Raiders. And Sonny's going to go to the line shooting two. 76-54 our score. 2.23 left to go in the fourth quarter. Wildcats up over the Raiders. Sonny, free throw up and good. First attempt. Second free throw attempt up and no good. Back iron. Patterson comes away with the rebound for the Wildcats. He looks to push it up the court to Hanson. Hanson snuck down court and he gets beats everybody back. Nice pass there by Patterson. Finds Hanson for the easy layup. And the Cats have a 23 point lead with just under two minutes left to go here in the game. Sonny, nice pass there down low to a cutting Grewal. Nice job there by Sonny to find the cutting Grewal. One fifty left to go. Cats on cruise control here. 20 on the shot clock. Has the pass intercepted by Result. Result layup. So that's four points for him here late in the fourth quarter. Nice job of him at reading the passing lane, getting involved and intercepting it and getting the ports for the Raiders. Hansen with the drive. He picks up his dribble, gives it out to Patterson. Patterson, 40 plus on the night so far. Hansen drive, shot no good. Rebound comes off to Pizalt for the Raiders. Now Patterson intercepts the pass and he dunks it home. Unofficially 43 points now for Patterson on the night. Shot up, three point shot is good by number 12, Matt Padilla by the Raiders. Makes the score 80 to 62 here with 45 seconds and counting left to go in the fourth quarter. Wildcats have the ball, Maven. And the Cats looking to waste some time here. Patterson gets it over to Maven. Maven carries it. And with 29.2 left to go here in the fourth quarter, wholesale substitutions coming in for both teams. Here's a replay of the nice dunk by Patterson, capping off a great half, second half here and game for him. 25 seconds left to go here. Central Catholic has the ball. Shot up and good by Padilla. Again, his second free th three point shot here in the last couple seconds of the fourth quarter, but it's going to be. Our final score tonight, Sonora Wildcats 80, Central Catholic 65. So that'll set Sonora Wildcats up to play in the second, or the 3.30 game tomorrow afternoon in the final day of the tournament as Sonora High Basketball is brought to you in part by California Gold, building tomorrow's value today. The NCS TV Summer Basketball Camp. Be one of the first 75 to register and get $100 off your camp tuition. Go to NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp to learn more. Sonora Conference Center. Four unique rooms in downtown Sonora. Visit SonoraConferenceCenter.com for more details. Benton Roberson CPA. Serving Tuolumne and South Los Counties. Straight Sports. For custom uniforms, go to straightsports.com. 
Wildcats.com for more information. Once again, our final score here tonight, Sonora High Wildcats 80, Central Catholic Raiders 65. Sonora will be set to take on the winner of the Sacramento Liberty Ranch game tomorrow at 3.30, which we will have live for you here on NorCal Sports TV. Once again, I'm Jeremy Hurtado. Good night, and thanks for being on the show.